Hello everyone. In this session, we will see how to load existing employee details into Workforce. Users plan for new hire requisitions for the current plan. However, existing employees' details should be loaded using templates. Oracle provides templates to load existing employee details. These templates are available in Configuration section. Select Workforce in the drop down. Click Actions. Download Data Load Templates. This will import zip file. I have already downloaded these files, and these are the files for actuals and files for plan. In this session, we will see data load templates for plan data. The first file is Employee Properties Data Load and second file is salary data load and third file is other compensation data load. As you notice here, each file has prefix ej because we have enabled employee and job. These files have ej as the prefix. If only employee is enabled, evo will be the prefix and if only job is enabled, jo will be the prefix. Let me open Employee Properties Data Load Plan file now. The first few rows includes instructions and row 10 is the header record. And below is the data for all employees. First column is employee. Here we need to mention actual employee names. So the first instruction is use actual members of the employee and use actual members of job, entity, Union code. The second column is data load cube name. We can leave it as is. In the point of view, give appropriate year. Our plan year is FY22. Enter the month, entity, job of the employee, currency of the entity, and cost center of the employee. And next column is full time equivalent, start date, partial payment factor union code and employee type, head count and merit month, pay type, skill set and performance. Employee type will be regular or contractor, head count will be 1. Provide the exact merit month and pay type exempt means the employee will not have any overtime pay. For skill set, no skill set. And for performance, OWP no merit. We will see these two columns in later sessions. I have prepared employees properties data load file as shown here. I will make it available for you to download. And next file is employee salary data load plan. As discussed now, first few rows are instructions and this is header record. First column is employee. Second column is load cube name. Third column is point of view. And replace these as required for the employee. Under no property, OWP salary grades provide the grade of the employee and salary basis. It could be monthly or annual. And if it is monthly, provide monthly salary value under OWP value column. If it is annual, provide annual salary under OWP value column. We can leave this column blank so that system takes default configured salary values for the grade. I have prepared employee salary data load plan as shown here. First column is employee and the cube name. Appropriate point of view members. If you notice here, Column D, no property. It should have grade. I have left this column also blank. When I leave this column blank for this particular job, for example, IT director, whatever grade is configured, that can be used. And the salary basis is annual. And for IT director, grade is 8. Annual salary is 150K in the system. But I want to override this value with 160K. That means for IT director job, for this employee, I will get annual salary of 160K. 
To load these two files, click Navigator, Application, Overview and click Actions, Import Data, click Create and Unselect Metadata option. Select the appropriate date format, click Browse, select the Properties Data Load Plan file. Click Import and repeat the process for the Salary Data Load Plan file. Click Open, click OK and Import. Close this screen now and click Jobs and make sure the import data is successful. Click Compensation Planning to see the data that is loaded and this is Existing Employees tab. We have loaded this data. This tab shows employee properties information. At the moment, compensation is not calculated. Right click on any empty row here. Click Calculate Compensation. Select Existing Employees. Click OK and select Total Jobs and select All Cost Centers and click OK. Click Launch. Scroll towards right. Now compensation is calculated. And as mentioned, IT Director is Grade 8 and the total compensation is calculated as 160K. And let's go to Employee Details tab. Select IT Director and Employee Name. Click right arrow. Now you notice the salary is calculated for this employee. However, benefits, additional earnings, and taxes are not calculated yet. We can go to Manage Employees tab. Right click on the empty cell here. Run the synchronized defaults for total jobs, existing employees, and for all cost centers. Click Launch. Now click on the Employee Details tab. Select the job name and employee name and click right arrow. Now, Medical Benefits, Social Security Tax, Federal Tax are all calculated as shown here. In this session, we have seen how to load templates for existing employee details. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in next session.